An agenda this big requires some heavy hitters, and that's where the state's business community is making its voice heard through the Children's Leadership Council of Michigan. Two council members, Elisa Martina, publisher of Metro Parent Magazine, and Paula Cunningham, president and CEO of Capital National Bank in Lansing, join me now to talk about why many Michigan business leaders are making early childhood development a priority. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Thank, thank you. you. Paula, let me start with you. Talk to us about the council, how it came into being, and, and who's on the board. It's a phenomenal group of business leaders throughout the state of Michigan, and actually it came into being as a result of a grant that uh, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates came to Michigan, wanted to invest in Michigan, and provided some startup funding, and then 16 business leaders got together, and that council, that's the steering committee, and the council grew from there. And there are about 120 business leaders now, and the council is, sh is act actually chaired by Doug Luciani, who is the CEO and president of the Grand Traverse uh, Area Chamber of Commerce, and Deb Dingo, who was president and CEO of D2. So it's a phenomenal group of people who are doing great work throughout the state. A, a great group, a very powerful group of people as well, yeah. very influential. So, Elisa, let me ask you the council this year was very instrumental in influencing Governor Snyder's agenda with early childhood. Tell me how that came about. Yeah, you know, we work very closely as a council and we push very, very, very hard to expand the uh, Great Start Readiness Program, GSRP, and uh, we've seen some really good results with it. We're very proud of our efforts. Um, we know that a comprehensive evaluation of this program shows that it leads to student achievement, it leads to long-term uh, staying in high school, and less uh, dropout rates, possibility of entering college, higher employment rates, so we're very, very proud. The work's not done yet. There's still 29,000 four-year-olds that are eligible to go into preschool education development programs, and we don't have enough funding. So we have been working with the governor. We've spoken to him. He knows about it, and we're very happy to say that we've informed him. And his budget, his executive budget proposal, and he's included $65 million uh, expansion in the fiscal year 2014, and a $65 million expansion in fiscal year 2015, but our work's not done yet. We've got a lot of work to do. It is a large commitment. Paula, help make the bridge for people when you see business leaders. Why are they so invested in early childhood? Make the economic link of what it can do for our state. Oh, absolutely. You can approach this either from a very selfish standpoint in terms of wanting to have a pipeline of workers for the future. Every business person out there is looking for talent right here in the state of Michigan. We don't want to have to recruit talent from outside of the state. The best way to assure that we have that talent is to start early and grow our own pipeline of talent, of educated, well-socialized young people that we can select from. Uh, the other is the ROI. I mean, it's, it's just huge. There's not another initiative out there, another program out there where you can see the, how great the ROI can be as you can with early childhood. When you, when you invest in a child earlier on, um, you, you save dollars in terms of special education, you save dollars in terms of crime, in terms of health care, all sorts of uh, er other areas. So there is a tremendous ROI when you invest in early childhood. It's a long-term investment, Christine. It's really, really important for every $6,700 we put in now, we see a long-term lifetime societal return of $6,700. Dollars. $67,000. $67,000. $67,000. That's a 10 to 1 return on investment. That's huge. So you see that return on investment, and you've seen a lot of the studies that have come out, and you would think that now, finally, early childhood development, initiatives, education, it's finally in the news cycle, it seems, so much more so over the last couple of years. So, Paul, let me ask you, are lawmakers getting the information? Is it clicking with them because they're the ones that are enacting the policy? It's beginning to, and that's why I would say kudos to the business leaders throughout the entire state of Michigan, as well as to the educators and those who have been fighting this battle for a very long time. When you get a coalition of people coming together for the same cause, the same purpose, there's nothing that we can't accomplish, and you're seeing that. Uh, you see not only do you see the business leaders out in front of the legislators uh, with testifying in front of the, the, the hearings and the different committees, but you also see um, criminal justice folks testifying. You see early childhood people testifying. So we've come together. There's a great coalition of people who are putting this in front of the, because they understand, putting this in front of our, all of our policymakers. They understand the impact that it'll have, long-term and short-term impact that it'll have on our investment in the state of Michigan. And, you know, we applaud the governor. He gets it. He gets it. And the timing is perfect for everybody to come together, and everything's about timing. So the legislators are getting it, the business leaders are getting it, the governor's getting it. This is the time. Okay, but Elisa, you say there's still more things oh, that have to be done. So give me a uh, long term for the council. What are some now long term goals that you're looking at now in the next year and a half, two years? Oh, well, we believe there has to be more funding, and we are very committed to measuring the proof of success. We're very committed to measuring the return of the investment. 
um, of the taxpayers' money, and we're very committed to working with legislators so that they understand it. Not all legislators do understand the importance of the brain science. It's phenomenal what's going on there in terms of brain science and how it informs our decisions about what we need to do with early childhood development. And we need to really work harder and harder to really make sure that all the legislators turn this into the top priority because a strong child, childhood development means a strong economy. It's really about a long-range, long-term investment that protects our state, protects our children, and it has to start with our efforts now. And everybody working collaboratively. We've got the Office of Great Start, and we've got the ECIC, and the Children's Leadership Council, and the governor all working together. We need to get everybody on board. And it can that. change the face of Michigan, ladies. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining me.